going on guys so this video is just gonna be a short quick one I'm getting ready for a car show the prelude is officially back on the road I haven't done much prelude content uh, there will be more of that along with the CRV trying to bust out what I can here uh, excuse me but as you can see and might have just saw the video it is officially back on the road new motor mounts I'm gonna enjoy the H23 A1 before any one of you guys say anything, yes, right over there I have, you can probably kind of see it sticking out. I have a Euro RH22 LSD transmission with it. I also have H23 VTEC. I have options I've had them for years, but I'm not going to put them in yet until I get to enjoy this motor with everything I got. Uh, probably going to throw a shot of nitrous on it and enjoy it for a little while. But today I want to do a little of it and I am cleaning it all up. Just got done cleaning it. I didn't do as heavy of a detail as I did before. I didn't feel it needed it. Um, it's just been sitting, honestly. I washed it. I did drive it over to uh, Sweevil's garage. Randy took care of me. Got me done within like 24 hours. Uh, took care of that side that had some of the scratch and needed some wet sand and polishing over there. And uh, it looks phenomenal. You can't even tell. I mean, look at the job he did on that, guys. You can't even tell that that thing was hit back there. And the new wheels on. And that took, uh, it was about six, I think about six months or more, if I remember. I'd have to look just to get that sucker in for that one wheel because they're custom uh, work Equipo ones. Got my Back to the 90 sticker on there. I do have new rear trim for the rear window. That's going to be later. And I got to find someone I trust to get in there and actually do that i am looking for this trim right here i know it's extremely hard to find if any of you guys have it uh please let me know i am um, definitely look for it and i want to get this thing paint corrected you can see some of the slight scratches in there and stuff it's it's black paint's just hard to keep perfect in there um so for now this is getting ready to go to our spring fever car show uh i'll be there if you guys want to show up and hang out and uh, attend. I will be help volunteering in that show and setting up and being there, so I, I can't wait. It's gonna be uh, dyno on site, food trucks, uh, awards, all kinds of stuff. So I'm getting ready for that. Uh, a lot of work into this car. As you guys see, I'll do more of a detailed video, but I am actually gonna, all these gold NRG, uh, uh, what you gonna call them, uh, fender washers. I love NRGs, the way they make them, just completely stout, they're strong, they're not, you know, piddly like little uh, cheap ones, I mean they're not titanium, but they're, they're great, I like them, and uh, I like the black, but I want all gold in here, it's, the whole theme's going to be kind of gold and black down the road, so I'm going to switch these ones out, and uh, change them over to gold, and just clean everything up in the engine bay, ready for the show on Saturday, and she's just gonna sit here and look pretty. But uh, yeah, I just wanna do a quick little video. I'll do more of a walk around explaining what I've done to this car so far. But it is back on the road. And uh, of course I won't be driving it much just because of work and life and it's not a car you daily drive anymore. But uh, I can't wait to start hitting some shows uh, and, and, and enjoying it this year. Hopefully if all goes well. I forgot to clean the interior too, so. Other than I got a vacuum, but it's not that dirty. But yeah, it is. Uh, I'm just happy to see it back on the road, guys. Uh, back on the road with my heart issues and, and my wrist still fucked up. I really didn't think I was ever going to get caught up on this stuff. Uh, slowly trying, but yeah, I got those motor mounts in, which were a total bitch. There's a video on that if you want to check it out. But uh, yeah, I okay, can't stay tuned. Can't wait to film and put up some of the show on there and pictures. Uh, spring fever is going to be, it, it is going to be just, I think it's going to be probably the biggest turnout this year just from what I've been seeing. So if you guys aren't there, you're missing out. So definitely check it out. Spring fever in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Um, just look it up on Facebook and you, you'll see. So, all right guys, have a good one.